In this video, we're going to take a look at reviewing how we can divide with whole numbers. To divide is a little bit more involved than multiplication, addition, or subtraction. First, we will rewrite the problem using the long division bar. And as we do, it's important to put the second number out front and the first number inside the division bar. After we do this, we will work through a cycle where we divide the front numbers, multiply that answer by the dividend, and then finally subtract to see what's left to continue with our dividing. As we do, we need to be very careful of the number 0. When the front number goes in, in, divides in 0 times, quite often we see a digit disappear, and we need to be very careful of that. Division's probably easiest to do, though, when we actually see an example. So let's divide 268 by 4. Putting the second number 4 in front of the division bar of 268, we're ready to start dividing. As we divide, we'll divide the front number 4 into the front number 26. 4 goes into 26 6 times. Now we will multiply the 6 by 4 to get 24 and subtract, which will leave us with 2. Usually at this point, we will bring down the next number, 8, and repeat the process again. This time, dividing the 28 by the 4. 4 divides into 28, 8, 7 times, sorry, 7 times, because 4 times 7, multiplying again, it's 28, and when we subtract, we get 0. We now have our final solution of 67. 268 divided by 4 is 67. This problem was probably a bit easy, though, because 4 was a single digit. Division becomes a little more work when we are dividing by something like 18. 1964 divided by 18. Putting the 18 outside the division bar and 1964 inside. 18 goes into 19 once. 1 times 18 is 18, and we'll subtract, which will give us 1. Bring down the next digit of 6. How many times does 18 go into 16? None. This is where students often will make the mistake and bring down the 4 and try and pick up from there. However, when we do that, we skip an important step. We haven't acknowledged that 18 goes into 16 0 times. Stick a 0 up there. 0 times 18 is 0, and we subtract and get 16. And now we can bring down that extra digit of 4. Eighteen goes into 164 how many times? This is much larger than we work with on our multiplication tables, and so we might not be able to do this on our first guess. With long division, though, it's often just a guess and check strategy. How about we guess 8 times? 8 times 18, well, 8 times 8 is 64, carry the 6, and 8 times 1 is 8, 8 and 6 more is 14. When we subtract, we get 20. We know our number is correct if this number is smaller than our front number. It's not, so we need to try again. How about we try a bigger number, 9? Nine. 9 times 8 is 72, and 9 times 1 is 9, and 7 more is 16. This time, we subtract, and we do get a smaller number of 2. This is great. With nothing left to bring down, we say we have a remainder of 2 and we have our final solution by dividing.